Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make the perfect Spanish rice without using your blender. In case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. So we're going to begin by making our tomato broth. So in a container we're going to mix 7.4 ounces of tomato sauce. And you use your favorite brand. And we're going to season our broth with 2 teaspoons of garlic salt one teaspoon of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of ground cumin. And now we're going to add about two cups of water. So the mixture should even out to three cups. So now just mix everything together. And at this point you can try it to see if you want to add any more chicken bouillon or garlic salt, or a pinch of salt. For me this is perfect, so now we can move on to making our rice. Okay, so we're going to grab our pan, we're going to set it on medium heat, and we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. And we're just going to wait for the oil to heat up. Okay, so once the oil is nice and hot, we're going to add half of a small white onion and half of a red bell pepper. And now we're just going to saute for three minutes. Okay, so after three minutes, we're going to add one cup and a half of white rice, and I rinsed it 30 minutes before, so right now it's nice and dry. And now we're just going to fry it for about five minutes or until our rice is nice and golden. And just make sure that you're constantly moving it around. Okay, so after five minutes, our rice is nice and golden. So now we're going to add one minced garlic clove. And we're going to mix it. Just give it a couple seconds. Okay, so now we're ready to add our tomato broth. Mix it. Okay, so mix everything together and bring it to a simmer. Okay, so once it begins to simmer, we're going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting. We're going to cover it and let that cook for 25 minutes. Okay guys, so after 25 minutes, we're going to turn it off and we're going to allow our rice to rest for five to 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, we're going to open our rice and now we're just going to move it around. Let me tell you that smells delicious. Alrighty, so once we moved our rice a little bit, now we are ready to serve. Alrighty guys, and once we have our Spanish rice, now we can enjoy it as a side dish, or you can enjoy it like that with sour cream, but now we are ready to enjoy our delicious Spanish rice. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that this rice is seriously perfect, you know, when you don't, when you feel a little bit lazy and you don't want to dirty your blender, um, my mom used to call it um, arroz huevón, but it's honestly super delicious. You can even taste the tomato sauce. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. It's perfect every time. And look at that, it's not mushy, it's just perfect. So cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm hmm And the bell pepper, it just enhances the flavor, it's so good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make the perfect Spanish rice. I hope you guys are enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.